Hi, I'm Michelle, and in the studio today, I'm going to be showing you how I use my Big Shot to cut with my Nesties dies and impress with my Impressies dies. So stay tuned. Now I have the two clear pieces that came with my Big Shot along with the, the whiteboard that came with my Big Shot. I put the clear, then the white. This is a rubber mat. This actually came with my wizard, the Spellbinders Wizard Machine, and I need to use it when I do this. At least that's how it works for me. And then I also use this magnetic spacer mat. Now this is actually from Spellbinders, and mine has taken quite a beating. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's me experimenting, trying to get different weights of papers. And materials through my Big Shot. I did, did just recently discover that uh, in the magnetic section of my craft store I can get packs of these magnets for about half the price of the Spellbinders mat. So the way that I'm going through them I think that's going to be the solution for me. Now I lay this down on top of my black rubber piece and then I put my Spellbinders labels one die on there and you can see that that's just going to hold it in place. It's not going to move around. I'm going to take my piece of cardstock, lay it on top, put my clear plastic on, and then I am going to roll it through my Big Shot. You can kind of hear it crack there a little bit. Don't worry. Don't let that alarm you. And then when you lift up, you'll see that you have the positive and the negative. And that's how I use the Nesty's die with my Big Shot. Now real quickly I'd like to show you how we created this card with our Labels 1 die. Basically we did the same thing. We put the label right on our magnetic sheet there, our backing, and then we took a card already scored and folded in half and we laid it right on our die like this so that we had that leftover edge coming out right here and that's the part that's not going to get cut. Now a tip for you if you find that your paper moves around on you sometimes I will take some scotch tape and just tape that down so I don't run into that problem ahead the same way. Now one thing you will find is that it's going to be a lot harder to roll this through your Big Shot because it does add some weight with that cardstock folded in half. However, it still works just as well. Now I'd like to show you how I use this Flourish Impressies die with my Big Shot. Now I use the exact same pieces that I did for the die cut, except what I do, I have my clear piece down here, then I have my white board, then I've got my magnetic sheet. Then I took my clear flourish die and I just bent it there, which I've done before. These are really fragile, I think you'll notice, and they're sharp, so you want to be careful with these. I'm just going to lay it right down there on my, mag my magnetic back took my piece of cardstock and laid on here. I actually have a piece cut a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to take my rubber mat and lay on top and my clear on top of that. Pull my big shot over here and roll that through. And there we have an embossed piece. Isn't that great? Now some folks have wondered how we achieved this little lip, this nice clean line right here on this card that's featured in Serendipity. And I have to tell you, it was a happy accident. What we did is we put our flourish die down just like this, and then we took our card and we set it on here just like that, and our thought was that we were going to emboss the whole piece. We ran it through our machine, and little did we know, but when we were running it through, it moved. It shifted out of place. And I don't know if you can see it, 
but as I run this through, my rubber starts to pull backwards and my everything else shoots out while the rubber goes backwards a little bit. So that rubber kind of pulls your cardstock back with it a wee bit. And because it's an accident, it doesn't happen every time. And in this case, it didn't happen. We got a perfectly embossed card. However, what you can do if you want to achieve that look, lay your cardstock right on here. Lay it off the edge. I'm losing my pieces. Lay it off the edge of your die. Put your rubber mat on top and then your clear. Run that through your Big Shot. And there you've got a lip. So just leave it off a little bit and you too will be able to make a card that looks just like that. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed our time in the studio today.